Hey, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And today we are dealing with lighting issues. So if I look 18 shades of uh, brown, don't, 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 don't shoot the messenger. I'm trying. I was trying to balance it out. It ain't. It ain't going out. So we'll. It is what it is. We're gonna be reviewing. We're gonna be uh, reacting to uh, Beyond Scared Straight Baki Edition. Uh, links for the original creator is gonna be down below. It's CJ just tear up. So yeah, uh, I'll be a resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Plays this video on the TV, and is this nigga at his house? Oh my God, that's a nigga's wife and kids. Yo, this man is disrespectful as shit. Look at his face right now. You know he's like, you know I'm about to fuck your wife, right? Yo, I didn't know this nigga Bush was in the NTR. Hey, hey. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a very special video. Because, okay. Uh, you see, we're going to jail. I beg your pardon? Nigga, actually, not even jail. We're going to maximum security prison. Because our boy Baki done got locked up. I'm locked up. They won't let me out, no. Oh, so thank yeah, God. Today we're going to be taking a oh. tour of the Arizona State Prison. Because, goddamn, this place reeks of Black Air Force energy. Because some of these niggas are the definition of built different. But, ladies and gentlemen, please sit back and relax as we dive okay. into the Arizona State Prison. As we will observe pure ignorance, nigga like that, and the art of throwing hands on this special programming of. All right, y'all, so before we get into the prison, we got to understand, uh, how the hell this nigga Baki even get locked up in the first place? I thought he was a kind little soul, but apparently he's a menace. Shit, he gonna end up just like his father. Speaking of his father, at the beginning of the season, there's a press conference going on because the African army was fighting a ginormous oversized African elephant that was terrorizing the entire savannah. And this guy right here is the sole survivor. So these reporters are wondering, okay, bro, you're the sole survivor, so how the hell did y'all kill the damn thing? And this nigga's like, shit, it wasn't us. It it was a nigga that killed that shit. A man in all black. He got an ass on him. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. <laughs> and killed that fat ass oversized elephant with his bare hands. At this point, you could just guess who did this shit. Bro, I don't know what this man Yujiro is at this point. Now he's out here killing oversized African elephants and then he ate the nigga. This man dead ass just ate a whole ass year's worth of protein. And then look at her smart ass with her Karen ass cut. Do you expect us to believe this? Bitch, you better believe it before. You know what I was about to say? That looked like, that looked like the bitch that he fucked. Like, uh, uh, a last CJ video and she just better drawn. That's what it looks like to me. I'm sorry. Well, he come for your ass next. So then dude gets up and he's like, look, I stated the facts. I'm done talking to y'all niggas. And hey, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. If I was in his situation, I would do the same damn thing. Like if I saw a nigga kill an African elephant with his bare hands, I, what the fuck am I supposed to tell you? Yeah, man, I saw a nigga kill a fat ass elephant the other day with his bare hands. You gonna look at me like, this nigga dumb. But in the Baki universe, shit, I'll believe anything. <laughs> but now we cut to this little kid getting bullied and they're like, hey, little nigga, uh, go in there in that high school right there and go fight the biggest nigga you can find. So then he goes into the high school and runs into these three niggas that do not look like high schoolers at all. Like, Jesus. They look like they in their damn 40s. Like, what? It's very hard when I watch, when I watch uh, Baki, uh, it's very hard because like, Everybody has 18 wrinkles, so you don't you can you can't tell if they supposed to be young or or crip keeper. You can't kind of tell, so it's like it's like all over the place, you know. Jesus Christ, they look like they at least pushing 33. So then his little flimsy ass pulls out the shank it, and then they just start laughing at the nigga. So then he's trying to talk to him, but they like say it with your chest, nigga. So bro is shitting bricks right now, but he's like, <laughs> please. Please, don't the strongest guy. So they like, oh, 
you looking for that big nigga. So then they cut outside to the kids and the kids like, I right, bro. They said, after school, I gotta go to the Tama River. Big homie said, they'll bring the strongest high schooler in the world to you. Just don't be a bitch. And of course these little badass baby ass kids laughing and shit. Oh, but they ain't gonna be laughing soon. So they go to the river and there he is. Son to the biggest menace on planet earth. And look at them little badass kids running like some bitches. So then little homie pull out the knife and Baki like, so you gonna use that small ass knife? I right, bet I ain't holding back then. This why the hell are you still? Uh, I know this is an anime, okay? I know this is an anime, but um, when a nigga post up on you and 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 you see his um his muscle definition constantly, bro, it's time to pack it up and go to fuck home, bro. And he he looked like he he looked like he, he looked like he's in his twenties. Why are we here? Why are you still here? Why did you stay here? This man is dead serious, ready to run the ones with a child. And look at little homie, he's like, oh my God, this nigga's dead serious. This nigga's dead serious. I ain't going home to mama today. So then Baki asks him, can you swim? And he's like, uh, a little. Then Baki's like, bet. So bro flash steps and shoots the living <laughs> Christ. Oh my God, he imprinted his hand on his ass. <laughs> It made bro skip on water. Yo, he really hit that kid with full force. So then Baki befriends the kid, but then Yujiro's personal chauffeur Stridum comes out of nowhere. And he's like, hey, you know your dad did just kill like a African elephant. My ass hurt. But wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, but it does. Like, um, like, ouch. <laughs> Everybody likes to spank it now and then, but oh, come on, I like it, like it, come on. not like that. God, Lee, that's gonna leave marks and bruises. Jesus Christ. The size of a dinosaur, right? So that means uh, he accepted your challenge. So it looks like Baki and Yujiro are gonna go at it for round two. Hopefully, you don't go like round one. Yet. So Stratum's like, all right, how you gonna respond? And Baki just starts yawning. He's like, it's all good, bro. It's just a father-son fight. But Stratum's like, nigga, you don't know shit. This is like two countries fighting each other. So Baki's like, all right, bro, I gotta find a way out of train. So then he starts shadow boxing a ghost of Mike Tyson? And he's taking- Freak out of Yo, what the f in the Casper is going on right now. Bro is fighting a ghost of Mike Tyson and is taking damage. Oh, but nah, we didn't think he could get even crazier, right? This man starts fighting a praying mantis. What in the fuck? He's fighting mantis from Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> you, you, I, I, I just don't question anything anymore in this. Why is the kid still there? Uh Why are you still here? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Kids can hang out with whoever they want. No, they can't. No, no, the fuck they can't. Okay. But why is the kid still there? Okay. And if it goes, if, if, if Baki fights his crazy behind daddy, it can't go the same way that it went last time because the fact of the matter is when he was fighting him, uh, did we just forget that he, that, that, uh, Baki's mom got her back broke? Like, <clears throat> and she died? <laughs> Beat down. We cut to America and they got this parade going on and we got President Bosch. Yo, yo, this nigga Bush. So while the parade is going on, they end up losing the signal. And that nigga Bush is gone. Cause this man Baki just straight snatched that nigga. Damn, Secret Service, y'all niggas ass. How the f you could basically let a damn child take the fucking president? Shit, and won't see my ass running for goddamn uh, president anytime soon if this is my goddamn Secret Service. So Baki ends up having tea with this nigga, and Bush like, uh, you realize that you just kidnapped the president of the U.S. of A, my nigga, right? And Baki like, hell yeah, I know. Shit, I meant to get caught. So Bush asks, what is Baki's demands, and this man Baki says the u.s arizona state prison yeah lock me up nigga is this nigga serious this man bush like wait 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 you kidnapped me so you can get locked up to fight this nigga biscuit and you don't want no money or no bitches he's the weakest ass demands i've ever heard yo this man baki is really taking training guards to another level this man said fuck a hyperbolic time chamber nigga i'm going to prison so our boy baki gets arrested he gets locked up. The nigga's guilty. That nigga is guilty! And he gets incarcerated <laughs> in the Arizona State Prison.
Okay. So Baki goes into the warden's office and speaks with the warden. And man's is like, I heard about you, boy. Heard you wanted to fight that nigga Biscuit, Mr. Unchained. And the reason this man is called Un... I feel fat now. Every time I watch a ba every time I watch anything that has to do with Baki, I feel fat. These people don't have definition. They literally define what definition is. Golly, they muscles be popping. They be they ain't got no neck. Oh my, their tries, their thighs are developed. Oh my God, their shoulders are capped. Their abs are bigger than my butt. What? And then we don't even want to talk about their pecs. The pec, uh, gee, bruh, call me flat chested. Like, God, Lee, man, do you see that wingspan on him? Oh my God. The, the lateral, the lateral here. I watch a lot of bodybuilders, I'm sorry. That nigga Jack. He can leave the prison whenever the hell he wants to. So basically, this whole place is his house. And yo, look at the treatment this nigga is getting in prison. I mean, look at this big motherfucker. He almost broke the chair. So Baki wants to run the hands with Biscuit, but Biscuit explains that there's a ranking system up in this prison. There's 471 other niggas that want to run the hands with me. Nigga, you just a rookie. But Baki decides, you know what, f the ranking system, nigga. I just want to throw the hands with you right now. So bro just whacks him in the face, but <laughs> he ate that shit for breakfast, nigga. Look at him. Relax, young blood. Don't catch me with that weak shit. So Baki gets sent to a cell, and apparently the second strongest person in the prison is in that same cell so as he enters the cell he sees his first cellmate and it's iron michael oh my god nigga that's mike tyson so baki asked mike hey yo i know you gotta be number two nigga you mike tyson but this man mike says nah i ain't even in the top 10. bruh all right hold up wait a damn huh. minute so 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 the shadow that he was boxing that was whooping his ass. I guess a praying mantis that wasn't in, wasn't invited to go to prison. He not even in the top ten. Okay. I mean, but I mean, but according to everybody in my comment section of my last video that had to do with Baki, apparently you just gotta sleep with people and he gets stronger. I mean, I'm not calling him gay. Nigga, you gay. But he did go to a bail prison, and that's what his dad said when he walked in on him trying to screw his girlfriend. I know all of that sounds out of context, out of, out of context. But I'm telling you, there's going to be people in my comments bringing it up. You know why? Because they brought it up the last video when I said, hey, isn't this kind of weird? They were like, no, he's telling the truth. He got stronger after he busted a nut. Like, so, hey, to each... I mean, if if just fucking people get you stronger, to go do that. Oh no, no. Hold up, no. If you just went and did that, then you will be on that redo a healer vibe. Never mind, never mind. I right, scratch that, scratch that. So, uh, this nigga Mike Tyson ain't even in the top ten. Yo, what type of monsters? Fucking fiends! You got mm. locked up in this bitch, nigga. What the fuck is this Arkham? Who y'all got I'm locked up locked here? Up in Clayface, Killer Croc, I'm... nigga Bane down there or some shit? Hell, they might have Joker in solitary confinement. So then they wake. Oh my god! Can oh my god! Can somebody please request Bad Dad? Cause I love that from College Humor, and I, I want to watch it. And I want to blame be a request on y'all because I love Bad Dad. Oh my God. Because every time I think of Bane, I think of Bad Dad. Like, he's like, oh man, here, did you ever get the. He's like, which one are these your nostrils? It is hilarious. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, put it down below. I'm being dead serious. And it's time for roll call. And this big Sasquatch ass nigga gotta be like 7-7. Seven, seven. And Baki thinks that, okay, this gotta be number two. But nah, Sasquatch goes over to the locker and says, hey, yo, second, wake the fuck up. So Check this nigga comes out the casket like Vincent Valentine. And he's like, hey, yo, what's good, my boy? And I'm like, is this the, is this not Baki? Is this Baki with a beard? Is this? Is this his twin? Wrong. Wrong. I could just come out the locker. No, no, no. Did he sleep in the locker? Oh, nah. This man different. So then Baki asked him, hey, yo, why you sleep in the broom closet? And this man says, 
I'm a warrior. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Okay, so am I alone, or did that not explain anything? Well, ain't no way, boy. Now, now, ladies and what? gentlemen, I want y'all to really think really hard about this. This nigga is in prison and said that I'm a warrior. Doesn't this remind you of a very notorious prisoner that said this shit before? I tell him like this here. I like you, and I want you. Now, we can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. Oh, he a booty gun. You smart. <laughs> the choice is yours. <laughs> Ain't no fucking way, bro. Ain't no fucking way this shit is actually happening right now. This nigga's a booty warrior. Oh my god. Oh, nigga, you best not drop the soap. So while they're lining him up and explaining the rules of the prison, this man Guevara is doing whatever the hell he want to. Man smoking a whole sick while he's giving a whole debrief. So then he goes over and asks Mike, hey, yo, what's for breakfast? And Mike tells him pork and beans, but he can't talk, so he gets sucked by the police officer. Bro, he dead ass made this man get sucked. Cause Guevara would have beat his ass if he didn't say shit. So he just went ahead and just took the beating from the CO. Oh my gosh, bro. That is so fucked. So yeah, Guevara, AKA the second coming of the booty warrior is a different breed of human. Like, bro, what is he doing to this spoon right now? So this big oh. man tried to fight him, but it, it, it did not go so well for this nigga. Wrong answer! And look how disrespectful this is. He grabs the officer's gun puts it in his hands and he's like, all right, hold on tight. Make sure to shoot me real good with that shit, nigga. Pop me, nigga. But right before he pulled the trigger, he cocks through in his balls. Oh my God. Oh. No! Oh, 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 I don't have, I don't, I do not have one. Okay, no tea, no shade, okay? I, I do not have one. But I, I was a Taekwondo instructor for a very long time. Okay, can you please equal out? I do not. Y'all gonna see 18 shades of shade today. I was a Taekwondo instructor for a very, very long time. And I'm gonna tell you, my some of my students hit me below the belt like four or five times, okay? I have went down by getting hit below the belt. And I'm just gonna imagine, if it hurt me, I'm, I can only imagine what it does to guys, okay? So, uh, he looked like he was trying to be one of those successful kickers. I mean, I mean, Shay, leave it alone, leave it alone. I ain't talking about like a Titan kicker who missed, who missed all his shit. He was trying to be one of those successful kickers, like, like the Chiefs kicker two years ago when he was the only nigga that sp scored points, nine points, and then Brady wiped the floor with they at. Anyway. Uh, and, and that nigga's decommissioned. So after he kicked the dude in the dick, he's like, hey, yo, guards, uh, I want an after-school exercise with this nigga. So they have a sumo match, and bro, this man can't even pick him up. So then he grabs a piece of his hair, sticks it in his ear, and it literally killed his eardrums. So dude mm. fell over, and it was wraps. So after go... Oh... I don't... Oh, I hate... Oh, God. I hate when stuff goes in my ears. The, I know that sounds really weird, but just the feeling... Uh-uh. I'm sorry. Grow up, Shay. I, I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I really am. I don't know what's going on with my lighting. Can we focus? I here? want an after school exercise with this nigga. So they have a sumo match and bro, this man can't even pick him up. So then he grabs a piece of his hair, Why sticks it in his that? ear and it literally killed his eardrums. Ew. So dude fell over and it was wraps. So after Guevara leaves, the officer comes over to Big Boy and he's like, hey yo, uh, why are you up in here alone? I know you see that sign, you blind motherfucker. So then he pops. Bitch, call the body, oh, body. We go go, we go go. Fuck with us and then we tweaking, oh, tweaking, oh. Rough dude in the back of the head. God. Damn it, he says, yeah, I, I warned him. No, no, you smoked that nigga with no warning. So Gavar. What the hell? Gavar comes back to the lunchroom and while everybody's leaving, Baki tries to talk to Gavar, but the cop comes in and starts swinging. But he ate that shit and grabbed his baton. Ayo. This nigga does the same shit he did with the spoon. 
Yo, when did Baki graduate from Shit Talking University? Boy got the shit talk, shit talk no me. So Baki gets put in solitary confinement in this very uncomfortable position. Jesus Christ. What I the can feel his dislocated shoulder from here. So we get a little bit of Guevara's backstory, and apparently this man has made an entire army that can kill niggas with just their bare hands. And one dude's already invaded Bush's cabinet. Goddamn Secret Service, you've done it again. So dude plays this video on the TV, and is this nigga at his house? Oh my god, that's a nigga's wife and kids. Yo, this man is disrespectful as shit. Look at his face right now. You know he's like, you know I'm about to fuck your wife, right? Yo, I well, I mean, what what can you do? What what can you do? I mean, you're halfway across the world and your secret service is crap because you got kidnapped by a 17 year old. So what what can you do? I didn't know this nigga Bush was in the NTR. But hey, yo, Fredo, this gotta be like the biggest cuck move in like anime history besides, well, you know, you know what scene I'm talking about, but we ain't talking about that shit here today. That shit is forbidden. Oh, I thought he was talking about Will and Jada. I'm going to hell. <laughs> I thought he was talking about Will and Jada. Oh, Lord. Wow, really? <laughs> that shit gonna be coming in August. <laughs> Grow up, Shay. <laughs> Beat the f out of his entire security force and took a whole tour of his house uh-uh bro that, that that that's one of the most disrespectful moments i've ever seen so later on the warden is talking about taking out mike because they don't want him coming back to the boxing world after getting out of prison so he gets these triplet looking niggas called the mouth one's named the lip the tooth and the tongue what in them niggas got them JoJo lips. Uh, for if y'all ever watch JoJo, I watch four episodes of my baby sister. She loves JoJo, but I'm just saying. The hell is this? These Oompa Loompa ass niggas in unison and shit? Oh, hell no, nah, bro. <laughs> so they bring Mike outside and they start jumping this nigga in unison. I've never seen motherfuckers jump a nigga so precisely. So then they put Mike in a quarter and she, Jesus Christ. God damn. Then they stomped him out. Oh my gosh, bro. This might be the most brutal jumping in anime history. And that man is gone. He dead, bro. But right before they about to slice his ass up, this man Guevara comes out of nowhere, rolling out like Samus in morph ball form. So the three Oompa Loompa surround his ass, but then he whips out his dick and starts pissing on him. What? Nigga R. Kelly? I wanna be on you. Trip, trip, trip. Did we just shout R. Kelly? Yeah. Bruh, I'm s only thing I'm thinking about is that Nicki Minaj line. If I had a dick, I will pull it out and piss on him. I I am that I am appalled. I um this nigga really just whipped out his shit and took a piss on him. Motherfucker like I was marking my territory. So then they just started stomping his ass out. But dude got up from that like a zombie. Then dude powers up on some Jack Sparrow Pirates of the Caribbean type shit. Oh, that nigga dead, bro. Send his ass to high heaven and back down to earth. And the other nigga pissed his pants and got the step in it. <laughs> yeah, this nigga pissed his pants. And then other homie just sat in the corner. He just said, nah, gee, I'm done. So later on. <laughs> you know what? I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You ain't about that life. Take a knee, man. Take a knee. Six, nine, your way out. Come on, dog. You be all right. You come out with a good record, too. I liked his new record. Well, I don't even think I heard it. I just was looking at the girls in the video, so. Mickey, Mickey, moppy, moppy, mop, mop. So, it's neither here nor there. <laughs> the cell while they're chatting it up. This big nigga biscuit busts up in the damn room and he's like, hey, yo, Guevara, we fighting tomorrow, nigga. So while they're talking, Baki tries to intervene, but he gets his shit <laughs> Then Biscuit pulls out this handkerchief that uh, apparently is his fine ass girlfriend's handkerchief. And apparently the nigga loves to smell the fragrance on that bitch. But this man spits on that shit. Oh, bro. <laughs> yeah, this man is so damn disgusting.
disrespectful. So before the fight, we get to see what Biscuit's girl looks like. Well, just some shadows of her. And we don't get to see much, but she okay. has a... Okay, he like, he like, he, he like white me, eh? I mean, like, ain't nothing wrong with it, all right? But I'm just saying, like, if he, if he, if he can come and go as he pleases through the prison, like, I mean, like, holding a handkerchief, like, you should have at least, you could go home and have a rubber body on a handkerchief and give it to you, right? Like, like I'm not saying that spitting, spitting is wrong, but I'm just saying, like, it's, it's not like she mailed it to him and then he smells it. It's like, oh, I'll never get to see her. He's in her, he, she's in the room right now, dude. Just tell her here, put your perfume on it and wipe yourself and then give it to me. You know, I don't know. Use a fresh one because rubbing other niggas spit on you is nasty. A very nasty ass attitude because she's throwing shit at him. She threw the whole bottle of crown at that nigga. Now, don't get me wrong, y'all, yo. This man Biscuit is a savage, but... Yo, this man is down bad horrendous. Now it's a day of the fight and all the prisoners are here to watch this. The number one and number two are about to throw down. So then Biscuit's coming out with this big ass bed and everybody's like, hey, yo, no way. This could actually be her. We actually get to see what she looked like. Even the one is like, hey, yo, no way. He actually brought her out. So we all thinking, all right, yo, she gotta be fine as hell. She gotta be the baddest chick we probably- Oh. Uh. Let's see. Let's see. Well, uh, Let me see. What the fuck is that? Hell no. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. Michelin man. That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> she a big bitch? Job of the hut. Wait. Ain't, ain't, ain't no goddamn my mind must be deceiving me right now. Ain't no way this my 600 pound life rotisserie ass chicken. Oh my god. Nigga, the bitch is the bed. I'm being dead serious. I have seen this so many times. It will be men, men that I have known that weight lifts, and then you'll see their girlfriends, and you'll be like, and then their girlfriends will be like 250 to 290 to 300 pounds and everything else. And you know what? Hey, I don't like big girls. That's not my cup of tea. But if you if you if you get down with if you get down with Lizzo size, I ain't got nothing to say to you, man. They need love too. They not gonna get love over here, but they need love too. And everybody gotta do their part. Okay, you do more heavy lifting than I do, but everybody gotta do their part. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't like black chicks. I don't get offended. So I mean, don't get offended if I say I don't like fat chicks. There you go. Bitch, I do what I want. It's gotta be the biggest what the actual fuck moment mm -hmm. I, I've ever seen in no, the anime. Not hey, really. We could bash this nigga biscuit all we want. We could call him a big ass simp, ultra simp, but hey, hey, who gonna check that nigga though? <laughs> not me. I mean, look at dude, he busted out of his tuxedo and is still standing there behind that mound of a beluga. No, let me stop myself. Let me stop myself. So how this fight is gonna work is you have to keep your hand on the cloth and the first one to take their hand off the cloth loses. This low-key is the weirdest way to throw down, but fuck it, I'm all here for it. So Kavar socks him, but yo, this man is gripping the cloth with his pinky and his thumb. This might be the craziest grip strength I've ever seen. So Kavar continues to tee off on this kid, but then he grabs his head and slaps that nigga into the ground. So while Baki's watching this, he's getting pissed off. He's like, bro, I ain't trying to watch those niggas play a game with a damn handkerchief. So this man goes to Biscuit's girlfriend's bed and start sleeping with her. Oh my God. Nigga, I was thinking body pillow. I was thinking body pillow. But you, come on, man. You, come on, man. If you take like, cause like a bitch that big, like, like how much, how many times can she actually wash? So, so if you take the, the, the smell out of it, like that's like, comfortable memory foam right it's not like i don't think i'm saying it no this is not offensive no comfortably 
being a comfortable memory foam type of chick is not is that's not offensive no it's not so i was thinking about like maybe memory foam like you know you just your body just molds to it you know it's a big ass body <laughs> Look, bruh, I'm shallow, okay? I just don't date fat chicks, all right? Not, I'm sorry. If, sorry. Use the bed on top of the bed, so they just lose a handkerchief after that. So this man is so pissed off, he whacks this nigga so far, he cracks into the wall. And everybody's like, hey, yo, bro, that nigga is dead. But we all know Guevara has like some zombie mode. You no, know, the man's a pirate, so he's gonna be on some Davy Jones locker type shit. So now they start for real swinging. Damn! Planted that nigga like a flower. So he gets up and he ends up landing a kill shot. And it seems like the fight is over. So President Bush is there, and, and this nigga Yujiro is here. And everybody's laughing, so he's like, wait a minute something's wrong and all that shit that just played out was a dream cuz that nigga got knocked the out nigga shit is as straight as a board and everybody's like damn he really just violated that nigga so he picks up his mattress and takes off so as we cut away from the prison for a bit the president is driving but yo you're like wait a minute why is the president driving and then you see this nigga Yujiro is in the back in seat what the fuck oh my god yo this nigga dead ass made the president his butler so after the fight the second coming of the booty warrior just left so yeah this man Gavar just dug a big ass hole and just escaped out that bitch so now we go to the next morning and it's time for roll call and while the CEO is talking this man Baki says uh excuse me uh can I go take a step outside and everybody like I know this nigga is not talking right now, but Baki said, fuck it, so I shot that nigga, and dude is staging a whole prison break. Man is out here dodging bullets and just dropping all the guards like it's nothing. So Baki gets outside, but he's surrounded. So the warden's like, hey, yo, bruh, uh, what the fuck you think you're doing? You really think you about to escape this shit? Baki says, uh, <laughs> shit, I already did, nigga. So he ended up breaking dude's glasses in a flash. Like, no, you didn't even see that shit. And all the guards surrounding him, holding him up at gunpoint, yeah, he took they butt Buttons off. So Baki's like, yeah, y'all niggas are my hostages now. So he what? tells the warden to put his arm around him and walk him out. So they walk him out and right as he gets outside of the prison, he's like, okay, y'all can take me back now. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> that is Nigga, I'm dead. I'm dead. Hey yo, I just wanted y'all to know how much I can floss on y'all hoes. I, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to make you feel like a bitch. And then I'm going to tell you, you can take me back in. So, so, so you can still have some of your manhood a little bit, bro. I'm dead. It's <laughs> embarrassing. He had six niggas holding him up at gunpoint and made them all his bitch and straight up walked out the prison. So then biscuit pulls up and dude is actually offended by this. So dude tells the warden to take off his cuffs because he wants to run the hands with him right now. But then yo, this man Baki started talking so much shit. This nigga said, grab some food and try again. Yo! Everybody like, hey, yo, what? this nigga did not just say that shit. And yo, this man is pissed. He's like, I know this little nigga's not talking all this shit right now. So after that, Baki just leaves, but he gets thrown in solitary confinement. So while he's in solitary confinement, Biscuit comes in his cell, starts talking shit to him. Then he whips out his shit and pisses on him. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Yo. What is that? Is Did R. Kelly help write this? What? I want to piss on you. Why is there so many so many people getting peed on? Like what is going on here? Oh, what is up with niggas pissing on niggas? Thank you. That might be one of the most disrespectful things I have ever seen. He took a whole leak on that nigga. But after that, Baki just starts <laughs> laughing at his ass. He like, damn nigga, you a bitch. You gotta piss on a nigga that's chained up. Damn, that's sad, bro. So later on, Biscuit comes back to Wasel. He's like, all right, we gonna fight in two weeks. So Baki's like, nah. Fuck that, we fighting right here, right now. Do he kicks dude in his face. So Biscuit's like, all right, little nigga, let's play then. So he slaps the fuck out his ass. Dude got sent through a whole ass wall. So then he busts out the tuxedo and he's like, all right, little boy, I'm about to beat your ass. So Baki tries to punch him in the gut, but he 
grabs it and drags his ass through the wall. Then he swung him like a towel and speared him through like five other cells. The dog is just beating the hell out of him. Yo, this man is holding him like a toy and is just eating all that, bro. And just threw him like a rag doll across the floor. But then you see Baki spring up and there it is. That damn demon back. And that's when Biscuit knew. That plot armor about to kick it real nice. So he ended up flipping him over and you couldn't even see it. The warden literally had to pull out the instant replay to see that shit. So then Biscuit decided to get in morph ball form. Yo, what is up with niggas mimicking Samus in this? So Baki throws a punch, but he blocks it and he ends up trying to eat this nigga on some Pac-Man type shit. So then he spits him out and then tries to do it again. But Baki ends up putting his damn fingers up his nose and bro is having the nose bleed of a lifetime. So then they face off and Baki's just ready to throw the hands at this point. Straight up one-on-one -on -one fist fight, no holds barred. So they just start blasting, going for punch for punch over and over and over again. But Baki ends up pushing him back in the nigga drops. Damn, he really did that shit. Bro knocked him out cold. He even had his girlfriend come and get up. Bro, fee-fa-fo ass. So Biscuit picks up his mattress and leaves the battlefield. And our boy Baki is a free man. So at the end of the season, Yujiro figures out that Baki beat Unchained. And now Baki is the biggest threat to him. But at the end, we see this dude stuck in ice. Now, I don't know who exactly this is, but I've heard of his name before. Something to do with... Forgot the pickles! Yeah, that was Baki Beyond Scared Straight. And that concludes our tour of the Arizona State Prison. Oh, but nigga, you think we done with prison? <laughs> nah, because we're going to Green Dolphin Street next. Because it's getting real spicy up in there. But anyways, uh, uh, before I forget, I got a little big announcement real quick. So, uh, <laughs> your boy made a second channel. Believe it or not, I'm actually dropping the first vid tomorrow at the same time. So, yeah, I'm going to put the link in the description if y'all want to check it out. Yeah, you can see my black ass two days straight. But anyways, though, God bless y'all. And I'm out this one. So that was the review. I, I hope my lighting didn't distract you too much because I was I was every shade of brown from light skin to dark skin. So I hope that it didn't distract y'all too much. I like this review. It was good. Um, I just don't understand why people like to pee on people. I mean, like, it just really gave me an R. Kelly vibe. Very R. Kelly. So links for the original creator will be down below, down below, down below. Make sure y'all go give it a like. Make sure y'all subscribe to the original creator because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to do what I do, like, uh, which be and insert funny clips and make y'all laugh. And like my, um, and like my grandmother always says, so long. And if it seems rushed, it's because of the fact that the matter is, it's six thirty, and I gotta edit this and put it up for my premiere in an hour. So I'll holla at y'all later. So long. Rush.